I mean, I, I'm not trying to be a pussy, but you know, that's just how I roll. You know, the really easy treatments I don't mind doing in the secret server. Because, you know, ne next thing you know, you're going to be doing one of those anyway. Even when you're not in the secret server, they'll just randomly pop up and then you figure out how yeah. to speed things up a little bit. My buddy, Earl, my buddy Sullivan, he wants to, um, he wants to go to Retro Studios with people that help make Metroid Prime and stuff. He wants to do that, and he actually sent an application to a Retro, and they ended up giving him a shirt. Uh, I actually think they let him off with, um, as softly as they could, and the shirt was a way to, you know, you know, take, you know. When you when they reject you, they give you like a shirt or a watch or a turtle plush doll or something like that. But I think he can do it. I mean, he's got uh, horses. Damn, they taste like chicken, man. I mean, my, my um. Oh, you guys gotta hear the time. You guys gotta hear the time. Hold on. You guys gotta hear the time that me and my buddy Keith found a rattlesnake when we were drunk. Hold on. Oh, let, let me see. Oh, let me see if I remember this. Okay. The enemy has taken our intent. Alright, I was hanging out at Pete's place. And we were already drunk, but we still did a quick, we still did a quick beer run at like two, uh, 2 in the morning. So that just added to our blood alcohol level. Well, we were getting out of the car with a pack of Coronas, a barrel of Heineken, and a bottle of grape drink. When we heard a hissing near the fire hydrant, like sitting there in the driveway, and Keith wanted to investigate. Now his pants were like sagging and shit, it looked real dumb walking, walling up with scooby doo bridge just shelving, much of my, my fortune. And then I started hearing a rattling, and that made Keith jump up in the air, drop the barrel, pants fell down, that was a fucking rattlesnake, shit! And I'm like, get out of the way, Keith, get out of the way, damn! And Keith done hopped onto the top of the truck like a little bitch, and I stood there away from the snake. That snake was right there, coiled up near that hydrant, with big old eyes looking up at me like he just got, just met God or something, man. That snake wanted to bite me, I assure you. Now, we were drunk, Keith more so because he was drinking that keg when we were driving back to his place, and he told me, Dude, you know what? I was like, what, Keith? He said, Dude, those fireworks up in the attic. And I was like, yeah, what about them? And he was like, Ellis, picture that rattlesnake blowing up into pieces from my fireworks. Now, that's when my jaw and shoulders dropped, and I looked at Keith. You out of your mind! Let's do it! So there we were, standing in front of that goddamn snake. Keith, Keith's holding a beer, and I was holding firecrackers and a lighter. And Keith was like, alright, catch it! I was like, you not? It's your idea, you do it, boy! I shook my head at Keith, I was not going to touch that damn thing. I don't think anybody would. And he's like, but Ellis, that, that, that snake's got never toxic poison, I ain't got no insurance, you do it! Like a little bitch, he was whining and shit. But we were kind of sat there arguing. While the snake just sat there looking at a couple drunk skinny guys bitching about it. It was a long debate, but to make a long story short, Keith ended up wearing some latex gloves, duck hunting overalls, and bubble wrap on his arm. Dude, he looked like a retard just busted in on a battle wanting to fight for his country. I told him sitting on my corona. Alright, do it, man. Catch that little slithering shit. And Keith was like, give me some time, man. It takes time. I've got to be one with the force and stuff. And he was like, nah, you can bet yourself on your own time, Pete. I want to see that thing explode. Look, just relax. You grab him by the head, then the tail, then I shove this here M16 up his butthole. Yeah, I was going to shove it up his butthole like hell I was going to shove it down that thing's throat. Well, uh, Keith was rearing up, being on one with the force or whatever he could do to waste time. Sure enough, Keith jumped on that damn snake and grabbed his head. And he was screaming and bitching. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, Keith, quit fussing around and grab that tail, you bitch. Keith would take a big old breath and grab his tail. 
So it was really hard to get hold of that damn thing. <laughs> That's what she said. Well, sure enough, he got his tail and straightened him out, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna stick this sucker up to that hold still. Hurry up, dude, this is so stupid! Keep screaming. I was all like, relax, just, keep, just drink the rest of that barrel, and you'll forget the snake you pissed yourself. But, yeah, they, by the way, it was your idea, so don't come crying to me. So I hurled up there with Keith while he was, he held that snake down, and tried to feel wrapped as much as he could, and was feeling around for his butthole. But as soon as I found it, it went the firecracker. Now, if you could hear that snake, would be saying, he'd be screaming and praying to Snake God and Snake Heaven. Why are they doing this? Oh, they in a bad spot. Oh, or something like that. That's what I figured they'd say. I was like, all right, on my mark, I locked it to some bitch and we get the hell out of here. All right. I just put my ladder and lift the fuse. Run, 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 get out of there! Get out of there! And Keith and I let the door that the back of the truck and uh, he had, and then we heard a pop. Me and Keith were laughing our drunken butts off like some little twelve-year-old grapers on CTFT port. And we're like, dude, that snake is toast. He's like a freaking banana now. And Keith would giggle like a wee dog, and then he look out up and look what the damage he done. Turns out the snake survived. That's <laughs> amazing. Surprised us both. And he just slithered off onto the road. Now, we were wondering what was going on. We turned out those firecrackers, those M16 we got. The only room they got is just pressure from the bed of the How to seal that little paper tube. So it wasn't a fire explosion, but I took you what. That snake's tail was gone, man. He ain't gonna get this battle ever again. And at the end, you know, me and Keith hopped in the truck and ran it over, and that was about it. The moral of the story is, if you have firecrackers, you use them before New Year's End, you know. Oh shit, my, be my oven should be ready. I'm gonna put my bagel bites in, I'll be right back, fellas. Let's go.